Good afternoon. We're out here this afternoon in what I sometimes refer to as the land of the German Baptists. Um, they're sometimes known as Dunkers. And around here in Southwest Ohio, where we are, they're often confused with Amish or Mennonites. But the German Baptists are a very different religious group than the Amish and Mennonites. Amish, Mennonites, and Hutterites are known, are part of a religious movement known as Anabaptism. Um, the German Baptist movement has its religious roots in a different movement known as Pietism. But you can get online and Google all that and read, read about that uh, when you have time. Um, this area, Southwest Ohio, um, West Central Ohio, is home to one of the largest com concentrations of German Baptists in the world. Uh, German Baptists primarily live in Ohio, Indiana. There's a community in Kansas near the town of Quinter. And then there are, is a community of German Baptists in California near Stockton and Modesto. Um, now this is where it gets a little confusing because we're here in the land of the old German Baptist brethren. There's the old order German Baptist brethren and they're very, it's a very similar church but they split off in 1921 over the use of cars and there's just a few churches of those. One is in Carroll County, Indiana, the other is uh, near the town of Laura and Bradford, Ohio and those German Baptists still use horse and buggies. Um, Take a look at this beautiful countryside. It's just gorgeous out here. This is Preble County, Ohio. Um, and I'm standing in the parking lot of what's known as the Lower Twin German Baptist Church District. Now if you look way over there, sort of behind that orange colored tree here, um, that's the, it's, no, no, it's vacant. It's no longer being used. That was their old church. Uh, the congregation is really growing, and they needed some more room, and they found it here, just up the road, up Quaker Trace Road. Uh, look at this huge parking lot. On Sunday mornings, you'll hear the crunch of gravel as the cars come into the, the church parking lot. It used to be that German Baptists primarily drove black or gray automobiles. Um, I attended the old church about 15, 16 years ago, and uh, Sunday morning, the parking lot was just full of black cars. It looked like a funeral procession. I think that's changing now. As long as they're not, uh, one German Baptist member told me that, you know, as long as it was a solid colored car, that seemed to be the, the norm. So come with me, um, and we'll check out the actual church. Um, unlike Mennonite men who are clean shaven, Amish men have beards. German Baptist men have beards. Um, after they get married, they, they grow their beard. And I think that's one reason why they're confused often with Amish. Um, in West Central Ohio, the German Baptist population goes all the way up to near Salina. Um, we talked before on our website about the Amish newspaper, The Budget. Um, the German Baptists have their own newspaper and it's called The Vindicator. And it used to be published by a husband and wife named Keith and Alberta Skiles, um, but it's, they're no longer the editor. It was passed off to somebody else and I'll have to get the name to you. Come with me. Um, you can imagine this parking lot full on Sunday mornings and let's hope I don't trip with uh, walking backwards. Um, one of the hallmarks of this church, like this is similar to the Amish churches, are the is the separation of the sexes on Sunday morning. Um, women will enter either the side door or one of these doors on the left, and the men will enter over here. This church is brand new, and this congregation is really growing. German Baptists generally don't have as large of families as the Amish, but Five, four or five kids is, is pretty normal. Have your railing here <coughs> for uh, people that may need to hold on to it. Um, <coughs> this is really nice. And I've not seen this at any other German Baptist church. So again, you have new features. If it's raining, you've got an overhang here, which is really nice. The whole church can gather under here. Um, we're not going to go inside, even if it is unlocked, because I didn't get permission. I did get permission to, to film here. Um, and you can, you can peek inside and just, you can see if you can get a look. 
because anybody can come here. Visitors are welcome to the church. Um, but it's very, it, I'm not, it'll be interesting to see how much the camera captures. Um, but there are wooden pews inside and just very plain. There are no decorations, there's nothing on the walls. It's, very, it's known as a plain church, and that's why. Um, the only other item I can add is that unlike the Amish church, the Old Order Amish church, where there's no real central authority in the church, you just have individual bishops sort of making up rules, and not making up rules, but interpreting the church doctrine differently, the German Baptists have an annual conference. Um, this past year it was in Kansas, and I would love to go um, sometime, but they have an annual conference where they get together and they just sort of go over church policy, church rules, and that gives the churches some uniformity from place to place. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this little tour, and uh, we'll be talking more about the German Baptists as the year goes along, but um, thanks for joining me.